Happy greetings, everyone. I'm Crystal Foreman, the owner and educator of Holistic Wellness and Health, where we make healthy living easy, nutritious, delicious, and fun with a focus on plant-based foods and meditation to help you live a healthier, compassionate, and more vibrant life. Today, we are doing an intuitive cooking demo using fresh produce from our friends at Moon Valley Farm. And we're going to get started um, pretty much right away because this is going to take a little longer than normal. If you are watching live, definitely say hello. Let me know you're here. And if you're watching this as a replay, put in hashtag replay and say hi as well. As always, if you have any questions, put it in the comments and um, tag me or Holistic Wellness and Health. So you can tag Crystal Foreman or Holistic Wellness and Health. Make sure I see it and then I can answer it as well. But I do have my computer here, so I will be looking over to the side every once in a while just to check comments, okay? Let's get started. I think you all can see and hear me okay? So I'm going to, um, first of all, I'll tell you all everything we have from my body. So we have our creamy mushrooms, some organic carrots, everything that grows organic or sources are organic as well. Onions from them as well as some collards. The bell peppers I um, actually got from someplace else because they're not in season yet. And they also had um, daikon radishes. Um, this is the cheese pumpkin. And we have some spinach from Moon Valley Farm as well. Then I'm supplementing our salad. So we're making a soup and salad. The salad's going to have our spinach, butterleaf lettuce, apples also from Moon Valley, and a spring mix from our friends at the Plantation Park Heights Urban Farms Produce Giveaway. So I just found this today, um, toasted sesame oil. So I'm going to just put a little bit in the bottom of my pan here. So a tablespoon, a little more than a tablespoon. I think y'all can see everything okay. And to this, I'm gonna add in my diced onion. So this is a large um, diced yellow onion. And to that, we're going to add in our mushrooms. I just slice them. And this was about half a pound of the mushrooms I'm using. So if you're watching live, let me know you can see and hear me okay. Um, just making sure. I know I see um, a few people here. So just let me know. We're broadcasting on a few different channels. So we're on our YouTube channel and on Facebook as well. I just want to saute this up until it's nice and tender. Because collards take a little longer to cook, we can add that in. And we're going to add in our diced bell pepper. So I have yellow, orange, and red all in here. About a cup of diced peppers. You can use whatever color you want. Is to add more color to the dish and um, adding more antioxidants as well. So we're going to add our collards in, just chop them up into little pieces here. Our collards are very high in vitamin A and vitamin C and vitamin K as well. So we need vitamin K for our immune system, but also for our blood. It helps with blood clotting and it helps with building strong bones. So you want to make sure you're getting enough vitamin K. There are some people who shouldn't have too much vitamin K because they're on blood thinners. But in general, um, vitamin K is definitely something that most of us need um, and need a good amount. So our greens are a great way to get that. This is also high in iron. So because it has iron and vitamin C in here, like in order for your body to actually absorb the iron, you need vitamin C. So it's cool because we're getting our vitamin C from our collards, but we're also getting vitamin C from our bell peppers here. All right. So let's see. I think everything's good. Okay. Um, we have some diced or sliced onion. Um, I'm so tired to say carrots. <laughs> sliced um, carrots here. So I'm this, in. this has been a great day, though. I was able to um, do an event with White Knot Community Farm earlier and had some other things going on as well. So it's been a great day, just a crazy busy. Thanks for the cooking demo. Yes. So I have this, and I'm putting it on high heat. 
Just let this cook down. I'm going to add in a teaspoon of my pink Himalayan salt. Good. I took this pink Himalayan salt from the Dollar Tree. It's like the least expensive I've seen for pink Himalayan salt. I used to get it from Marshalls or PJ Maxx, but I found that the Dollar Tree one is great and less expensive. Um, the pink Himalayan salt has 84 minerals in it. And um, just like a nice clean flavor, it's definitely better than iodinized salt. So definitely consider when you're picking your salts, this is a great one to get. And sea salt in general is really good as well. So just have this cooking up. And we're going to add in to some of this daikon. Ranch. So I haven't seen a farm in this area grow daikon in a while. So this is my first time in a while actually cooking with daikon. So we're just going to use half of this. Yeah, it's a Japanese radish. It grows very long. It can get much longer than this, actually. Nice deep tap root. It's um, hard for me to describe the flavor. It's used in a lot of Asian dishes. So if you eat Asian food, you've probably had daikon radish and just didn't know it. But it has like a nice crispness. You can even hear it as I'm cutting through to our dish. So this is going to be slightly longer than normal. Um, Usually I try to keep the demos under 15 minutes, but because we're actually cooking everything, um, like you're seeing prep a lot of it as well, um, it's gonna take a little longer. Sometimes what I'll do is have things already made so I can show you the finished product, but that was not happening today. It's all good. All right. So, and to this, we're gonna add in some um, garlic powder here. I'm about to just put it on a tablespoon of garlic powder. And I think that's it. I'm going to add to the soup for now. So I'm going to add, let this let's cook a little bit. And what I'm going to add the water. Intuitive. Four cups of water. And because I'm not using broth, I'm actually using broth base. Seasoning mix. I'm going to add in um, three tablespoons of this. So, this is taking place of our broth. I love this. Um, this particular one is um, Orrington Farms. You can find, um, there's a couple of brands out there that's really good that have, have like a very nice flavor of vegan broth. Um, so, this is just a nice way to add a lot of flavor your dish as well. So I have this one high. Just gonna let this cook for a while. And then we're gonna make our salad dressing for our salad. And then we'll test make our salad last. So salad dressing. I have here one third cup of olive oil. That, I'm going to add one third cup of balsamic vinegar. Usually, when I do a dressing, I do um, one to one ratio of oil or some type of acid, so it might be lemon juice or lime juice, to um, the oil. So, whatever, like one to one ratio, oil and acid. Um, sometimes I'll add a little sweetness. This time I'm adding maple syrup. Maple syrup has a nice amount of minerals in it, um, especially if you can get like raw. Maple syrup is a great one to get. And I'm going to add just a little bit of salt. So I'm going to put in about a fourth teaspoon of pink Himalayan salt. And we're just going to whisk this together with the flavors. This actually, I'm going to add some spices. So I'm going to add in some dried thyme and dried parsley. I'm going to do half teaspoon. I'm going to do a teaspoon each. Intuitive cooking. So it's a matter of using what you have and then just knowing what how the flavors go together. Um, so you don't have to follow a recipe. Usually I do provide recipes for you all every week, 
Um, but this one, I just wanted to use what was in the box. Um, and I didn't know what was going to be in there. They usually do send out an email every week. I just did not um, check to see what was going to be in there this week. So that's our dressing. We're going to just sit for a bit and make our salad. So we have our beautiful spinach from their farm. It's nice and tender. You can just feel how tender this is. I'm actually not going to chop it up today. Usually I do today. I like to usually have everything right up. So this um, beautiful spinach is also very high in iron and vitamin C as well as vitamin K as well. So nice richness. This is the type of spoon you could just eat how it is. It's perfect. And we have some butter leaf lettuce here. We're going to add to this. So I am going to chop this. Does anyone have any questions as we're going along? We do have a free challenge that will be starting in a couple of weeks. It's a press reset and just in time for spring. So we're going to go live in our Facebook group and on YouTube um, every day during that week, just focusing on different parts of wellness. So definitely feel free to enroll. That is free to enroll. Let your family and friends know as well. And it's just a great way to work on different aspects from physical, um, mental, spiritual, um, environmental, all of those aspects of our wellness. So let's see here. We're going to put one of these delicious apples in our salad, as well as some diced bell peppers. So I have um, some more of the orange and yellow here. Definitely an advocate of eating colors of the rainbow. It's definitely can be harder to get like the um, blues and purples, um, especially this time of year, but it's not impossible. And so definitely want to get different variety as much as possible to your diet. All right. I'm also going to add in some sunflower seeds. These are roasted. Sometimes I'll use raw because I'm using roasted for this. This is going to add some protein, zinc, and calcium to this dish. And then I'm just gonna add some of our delicious organic apples here. Right. So, say hello to the comments. I know that we have, um, we have a couple channels going and I can't tell exactly which channel you all are on um, for my streaming service, but yeah, just let me know that you can see everything okay and I don't know how everything's going. I hope that you all are enjoying the weather if you're in Maryland. It's a beautiful day. And I know that some parts of the country is not having great weather. So I hope that you are doing well with what's going on. All right, so this is our beautiful salad. We have our salad dressing here as well. I do have um, a few different salad dressings on the website. You can check out um, our Cucumber salad, kale salad, and some other salads as well. They're all absolutely delicious and interchangeable, so you can use the dressings with whatever you want. I'm actually not going to put it on here yet. Um, I'll wait to on that. But let's go check it back up on our soup. Nice. So in order to add some extra protein to this dish, I'm going to add quinoa. And so for quinoa, you should just need about um, two cups of water to one cup of quinoa. I put in four cups of water earlier, so I'm just going to put in two cups of quinoa and let that cook. Some people do rinse their quinoa. Today is not one of those days where I'm rinsing, but if you do, you make sure you have a very fine colander or else those little tiny quinoa seeds will go straight through your mesh. So let's see, let's do two cups. Okay. 
This is also organic quinoa. I got from Aldi's as well. Um, really great price. I love Aldi's for plant-based shopping. You buy great deals. So if there's any favorite place that you go to shop, definitely put it in the comments. Let us know. I'm always looking for new places to check out as well. And it's also good to share with others um, who might not, you know, think of other places. I am excited that there's, they're building a vital near Morgan State University. So that'd be great to go to as well. Um, I've only been to Lytle once or twice now. And um, I love their produce and all of the seductions they have for plant-based and vegan eating. So yeah, definitely check that out. Hello. Hey, Naja. Thanks for checking in. Yes, the salad is going to be awesome. Um, yeah, so we also have our soup going completely into a cooking using the fresh produce we received from our CSA box from Moon Valley Farm, which I just picked up before going live. So I just had time to wash it and prep a few things. And um, actually, to that salad, I didn't add it, you know, at the bottom of our bowls. This is a um, locally grown, fat free spring mix that we got in our produce box from Plantation Park and Open Farm. It has been unwashed. And um, they didn't say on there, no need to wash, but five times I like to rinse at least. But it's up to you. Um, nice tender leaves here. So I'm actually going to put this on the bottom of our bowls when we get ready to eat. Then serve the salad on top of that with our delicious um, homemade dressing. If you want to add more spices to your dressing, definitely feel free. Like I said, intuitive and use what you have. That's what we're doing today. And we have there's something that you'll see this. This is very pretty. Thank you all. Yes. Lots of different colors in our soup here. And I think I'm just going to, if you have any questions, today is one of those days where we can actually do question and answer, anything plant-based, as well um, as any questions about any of the produce I've used today. Today, I decided not to use our squash here, but you can check out the YouTube channel we've done for the month of February. We did a winter squash dish every single Friday. So if you are still getting winter squash, and you're like, what am I to do with this? Just check out some of the videos on um, the YouTube channel. And you, know, you can just type in butternut squash you know, for holistic wellness and health in our search, and it will come up. Um, yeah, I had fun with you know, using a lot of butternut squash. But today, I am not using it because it takes a little longer to cook. And I didn't want to have to wait like 30 minutes. But this will be done um, in about 10 minutes. So if there's no questions, hey, Alex. Yeah, um, then I will just let this cook and I'll show it to you in a moment again. Um, not sure what that means. But we have someone, Alex from YouTube. Thanks for checking in as well. And also thanks for commenting. I always appreciate when you all make comments and like and share and love the videos. That's always helpful. Um, and this helps the algorithms as well. So that's there. Um, so I think I am going to jump off unless there's any questions. Um, so once again, actually, let me put the link while y'all are here. I'm going to put the link to the um, challenges coming up so you can just go on and enroll and let others know as well. Let's see. And it's the Press Reset Program. We'll go over physical, mental, spiritual, environmental health, as well as our personal life choices. So every day we'll focus on something different. We'll go live in the group and we have some pre-recorded videos as well. So I would love for you all to join me um, during those five days as we enter spring with our mindset you no know, right with everything. I'm also going to have some um, mindfulness meditation. So I ran this challenge last year, but this year I'm actually adding in some new components. So if you did take it last year, definitely feel free to take it again. 
this year we've added more to it to make it even more um, beneficial for you, mind, body, and soul. So definitely enroll and let others know about it as well. So if there's no questions, I am going to tune off before I do. I'm going to actually bring the camera in on this so you can see. Oh, I do that. For those who don't know quinoa, quinoa is technically a seed, not a grain. It's very high in protein. And when it's done, you'll know because it'll actually kind of pop open. You'll see like a little white, um, almost like a little tail come out of it. And that is the germ there. That's the protein. So we're going to see this here. And you can just let it cook a little bit longer. So thank you all for tuning in. Next Friday, we will be live again. And I will post a little earlier what we're making. Today was just a, a running day, but I'm glad I was able to make it with you all. I'm glad you all joined me as well. Everyone from um, the event earlier today, I know that some of you all are tuning in and said you all will tune in later on. Definitely say hello. Let me know that you watched the replay as well. And I look forward to seeing you all in person um, later as well. So for everyone else, be sure um, you join us live every Friday at 5 on our Facebook and YouTube channels. Um, I know everyone's now on Facebook, so there are options, and you can share this. Thanks again. Peace, love, and blessings, everyone. Take care.